Well, this evening we have yet another State of the Nation address, for what it's worth, and also the ongoing discussion about state capture. Do you know, I think the Labour movement would do well to spend as much time thinking about those two matters as about the State of the Unions and ca possible capture of unions. There's a worrying case that illustrates this perfectly and came to a head on January the 26th, uh, this past month, uh, and it's now unfolding. And unless there's some sort of dramatic turnaround, the chemical engineering, uh, energy, I beg your pardon, pulp, paper and wood union, Sepau, will be under administration shortly. That's under legal administration. This is after six years or more of controversy. And under the General Secretary, uh, Simon Muffel Keng, who is himself an extremely controversial character. Now, Sepau has not filed any proper audited returns, financial or membership wise, since 2010. And this is required by law, by the Labour Relations Act. It is required. And, and if um, a union defects, or an employer body for that matter, they can be deregistered. Now, um, in the case of, of Sepau, the union is apparently and has been for several years in deep debt. But at the same time, it has an investment company that is estimated by various people to be to hold assets of about th between 3.65 billion, not million, billion and 6 billion rand. But these assets, it appears, are not on the books of the union. And you see, until 2015, the Registrar of Labour Relations, the, who registers trade unions, etc., had only one sanction that he could apply. And that was deregulation. Now, deregulation means, of course, the union is then cut out and no longer exists legally. Johann Krauser, the registrar, was reluctant to deregister, not only because of the damage it would do to the membership and to the union structure itself, but also, as one of the officials pointed out to me, it would mean that if there were any checkbooks around, they would go off with whoever happened to be holding them at the time. But in January 2015, everything changed. There was an, uh, an amendment to the Labour Relations Act, which enabled the registrar to use another sanction, and that was to apply for the union, in this case, Sepawu, which is in gross default, to go under judicial administration. So their assets would all be, all the money, the assets, debts, etc., would all come under a curator on behalf of the membership. Now, the minute he did that, he announced that he was going to do it to the union. Within days, the minister intervened, Mildred Willifont, the Minister of Labour, and told him that it should be withdrawn through her Director General, uh, Dubile uh, Lamati. Well, the registrar is supposed to be independent, so he did not withdraw. The next thing he knew, he was removed from his post, his deputy was appointed, and the application was withdrawn. So, Johann Krauser, who also happens to be a union member of the PSA, his union took the matter to court, and the Labour court ruled totally in his favour. Well, that didn't stop the minister and her department. They took it on appeal, and the appeal finally was resolved on the 26th of last month, totally in favour of Johann Krauser, that the action by the minister was totally irrational, etc. So we now have the former registrar back in his position, and it looks very much as if the application for administration of Sepawo will get underway once again. Now, Krauser retires in October. He's back in his position. But whether or not this thing can carry on, can be done right away, we do not know. But what I'm saying here is, it shows what a parlous state some of the unions are in. And it also reveals, I think, clearly the dangers of interference, of meddling at a political level. And that is something the Labour movement must really look at. That, in any event, will be the focus of my Inside Labour column, which you can access on this platform, Fin24, uh, tomorrow and a version of which will appear in the City Press Business section on Sunday. Until then, over to you. Comments, criticism, compliments if you like. But until a fortnight's time, that's all from me. Cheers.